Hello and welcome. I'm going to introduce you Picasso Visualization Library and show you how easy it is to use Picasso to create custom charts using various components. In a sense, Picasso is a visualization library that you can explore to create custom charts using various components. In this case, we're going to create a butterfly chart. So let's get started. So before we get started, I'm going to walk you through some steps to get you acquainted with Picasso. As I said, Picasso is an open source charting library, which is component based. You can use various components. And when I show you the example, you'll see how you can leverage various components to create a custom interactive chart. The best way to learn is to visit picassojs.com and go through documentation. This documentation is pretty comprehensive, so you should be able to get basic understanding of how to construct a chart. Now, needless to say that you need to know basic JavaScript, but besides that, you will see how easy it is to create custom charts in ClickSense using Picasso. Also, I found on GitHub a widget component created by Conrad, who is a Palo Luminary, he's created an awesome widget component that you can use in ClickSense. And the reason I like it is because as you make changes, you'll see instantly how those changes impact your visualization. And once you're done, you can turn that off to not display the, the widget component. All right, so you can visit GitHub and download that. And of course, I've written an article on Analytics Hub so you can actually visit the blog and go through steps if you need to. So just to give you a quick overview of the article that's on analyticshub.io, you can go under free resource and blog. And I've written a blog post just recently to lay out all the steps that you need to create a butterfly chart. Okay, with that said, so go ahead and download this component from GitHub first. You may have to register in order to download, but once you do that, it's an extension which will be visible in ClickSense. So without further ado, I'm going to create a new sheet here just to save time. I have a table displayed with age group and median weekly salary by gender. And that is what we're going to display on the butterfly chart. All right, so I'm going to make this a little smaller to make room for the extension. And I'm going to get the widget component here. So here's the Conrad's extension that I'm going to use to create a butterfly chart. We'll start with age group as dimension and female. And we can do a sum of that to just get base chart displayed. As you see here, the component is displaying a scatter plot chart with some data, right? So we're going to remove all that and create our custom chart. So first step is to visit picassojs.com and the site list besides the documents, some very useful examples. So let's click on the examples page and get population pyramid. That is the chart we're going to use. We're going to copy the code and paste it in our code editor. So let's copy the entire code first here. And there you go. Now here's the copy. I'm going to go back to my code editor here and remove the entire code. Well, except we're going to leave console.log to display chart objects. So let's go ahead and, and delete all the rest of it and paste the code that we got from the example. Now you see, we may have to make smaller adjustments. For instance, we need to define chart as an object that we were displaying in the console.log. So let's start with that adjustment. We say let chart equal 
And then as far as element, we're not using HTML to display the chart. Instead, we're going to use element. And of course, data is going to come from the app itself. So we're going to use colon data. And you see these are all JSON structures. Now at this point, our data set contains age group and not age. So <clears throat> I'm going to make that slight adjustment to my field name, age group. And I have to make similar change a few more times throughout this code as the field has been displayed in the, the data object also. So here it's going to be group and last one will be group here. Now at this point, the chart's not being displayed because butterfly chart requires two measures. As you see in our example, we have male and female. These are two measures. Age group is dimension. So I'm going to add another measure and that's male and let's sum up male. And for chart to get displayed, it the label has to match with the field names that we have listed in the code. And our field names are male and female. So we can simply change the label here to male, same way, label of female to female. And that brings our chart. Now that's the base chart at this moment. Next thing we want to do is to add a legend. Well, in order to add legend, we have to add a component. Anytime you want to display any aspect of visualization or, or improve visualization, you have to add a component. Well, you see here, the scale for the legends been defined as C and it's showing categorical color. Now, if you go on the picassojs.com, the help site, it has various types of legends. So legend can be categorical or sequential. So here our legend is categorical. So we're gonna have to create a component with type legend cat. You can copy this and go back and let's create a component first. So I'm going to create an object and let's start with words comma here. Now let's start with type is legend cat and the scale is C. And I want to dock it as you see it's showing up on the left. I want to dock it to the right. So dock right. And there you go. Now it's on the right hand side. Well, looks good, but it's not displaying male or female, which is what I want. Now, if you notice here, the data array has values zero and one. Well, same way, if you scroll down and look at the code in the data object, code has zero index for male and one for female. So first change we're gonna make is to change, replace zero with male and one with female. Now you notice that the bar for male is displaying, but not for female. Well, why is so? So if you scroll down here in the settings, and by the way, each component can have its own setting. So the settings here is using major minor axis, or the minor axis has the end of it with a logic, which is a short form of if then else. So if the value of index is one, then multiply the number by minus one because we wanna display it on the left-hand side, otherwise displayed on the right. So we will have to replace one here with female. Now the bar shows up, but color is not right. So in order to display proper color, we'll scroll back up 
and look at the array in the scale for the legend and replace this with male female male comma female and there you go now we're making progress now we have legend with male and female displayed properly what if i want to add a title to it that's possible with another object and here we're going to add settings in the component for the legend and that's going to be an object and within that we're going to add a an object of title because we're adding title here and title will have text so let's start with text of median and you see as I'm typing the titles start appearing at the top right median weekly salary by gender age group now this ship disappeared because it has a, a long string so in order to fix that we can add max line now in javascript the common practice is to use camel casing so i'm going to use max lines two three and the last parameter is the word break so we're going to use the uh, word break and that's going to be break hyphen word and there you go now you see the title is showing up properly with the line break all right so we still want to make a little bit room for editor so we can see it a little better here now the next part we want to show is the value on each bar in other words we want to label each bar for male and female before we do so we just want to make sure that the chart is pulling proper information so you have console.log let's hit f12 and well i may have okay let me cut this out and paste it within right after the chart gets calculated so save here and refresh now there we go we have the chart object so now you expand that and you see that there is a, a data and data has an array and as a matter of fact you can see that's the hypercube so if you expand that under the hypercube you're going to see q dimension info which will show age group and q data pages will have q matrix which will show the table itself and we got 10 rows starting with zero and for each of those you see there is a value for male and female and of course the dimension so we are pulling data properly it's just a matter of now showing it on each bar in order to do so again you can leverage some of these examples that are found on picasso js studio so one of the examples is labeling bars and that's relevant to what we're trying to show so what i'm going to do is highlight the labels function copy it and paste it to my chart so in the definition portion let's define function def and paste it here so now we got the the function that's returning the value as a label for each bar and since we don't have decimal we're going to remove that and at this point I need to add an index to the box where I want to display this value. So here my ID is going to be, let's say bars, comma, and I just need to add that component to display those values. So component is simply a function call, which is labels. And within that, I'm passing a parameter for C and that's bars C 
see is what we're going to pass as a component value and that should display our label. Let's reduce the font size to let's say 12 and we wonder why is it not showing right now. Well, uh, let's take a look. We have components added. Oh, I mistyped labels. And there you go. Here are the labels now. We, the labels are left aligned. So if you scroll back up, you have various parameters. One is justify. Zero means left aligned. If I type one here, that means right aligned. If I type 0.5, those will be central aligned. That's what I want. If I want to change the color of this, I can change it to white color. And there you go. Now we have our chart completed. So at this point, I can turn off the configuration and I can resize my chart. And my application now has the butterfly chart and it's fully associative as I make selections, I can see the related value in the chart. So that's all there is to it. As you see how quickly I was able to leverage various components, any when function and examples that Click has provided through various pages to create a very interactive, beautiful custom butterfly chart. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again. If you like the video, please like it and please visit analyticshub.io and become a member as we keep adding ton of courses and constantly educate our pro members to improve their click skill. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again.